What's up, motherfuckers? Skulls here. And I wasn't gonna make a video about this, but I might as well. Fuck it. Now, here's the thing. In a couple months, probably around the end of November or the beginning of December, I will be getting a great computer. Like, beyond great. For about 800 bucks. And I'll be able to do a shit ton more editing and cool effects. I'll also be able to obviously render videos faster, which is fantastic. But with the the effects that I could possibly do with Sony Vegas, Hit Film, Adobe After Effects and shit, I mean, I don't know how to use those shits yet, but I would love to learn that shit because recently it's pretty fun making those little theater edits type things since fucking Ghost won't have it, you will see a lot more Black Ops 2 if I could do these cool effects and these cool ideas when I get the better computer. Because once I get that shit, this shit gonna be fun. And I think I might, there's no guarantees, but I think I might change the overall focus of my channel. You'll still see commentaries, of course, but these short films that I do and maybe anything else that I do, maybe even some cool montages. I might start doing that a little bit more. And I wonder if y'all even fucking care. I mean, I asked that to ask if you care, but actually at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. I'm um, sorry to say that, but it's my fucking channel. I'll do what I want. But I wonder, do you care? Would you care if I were to do creative shit more? I mean, that's a stupid fucking question because these short films seem creative. They seem unique because I'm not really sure who else does that? Maybe there is. I mean, it's something that it's kind of simple. So maybe, maybe the idea has been done, but I haven't fucking seen it. But if I can do more with that, I think I might change my channel to be a little bit more with short films. I'm not even sure if there are short films. They, I don't know what they're, what they're called. It is cool videos, <laughs> but I might do that a lot fucking more, a lot more. Just fucking with theater, making some cool things that I believe no one else does. I mean, if someone else has done a short film kind of like what I do, please fucking tell me, please fucking tell me. I know people do Call of Duty in real life, but who just uses theater mode in Call of Duty? to make a cool movie, I guess. I don't think anyone. So I think it's gonna be like 70, 80% focused on short films. And then when I feel like it, when I want to, I might do some live commentaries. I might do some regular commentaries, but it's gonna be a lot more focused on the films because that's more fun. At least for me right now, that is more fun to do than regular commentaries. And it's a lot more worth my time compared to doing commentaries, even though it doesn't take that long. But for me to waste eight, nine hours nonstop on a short film and then get the response that I do from my previous ones, that shit feels great. It feels really good because I know that video is great. And then when you see so many people saying great video, fucking hilarious, the most creative video I've seen in all year, you know, things like that. That's cool. Because people notice the creativity. People notice the hard work that I put into the shit. Do you really think these type of videos are hard work? Compare this shit to one of my short films. What the fuck do you think was hard work? It should be kind of obvious. It should be pretty obvious which one took more time, more effort, and more creativity to make it look right. Okay, so be prepared in a couple months that you will see a shit ton of short films from Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, and maybe Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 theater is terrible, so maybe not, but maybe I'll try, you know, maybe get a little variety in there, which... It's not really variety, it's still fucking Call of Duty, but whatever. But anyways, motherfuckers, 
I'm gonna end it on that. Expect minor changes in the next couple of months. And I'm out.